Hi you guys, it's Alyssa and I am back. So today's reading is going to be um, what would my person say to me uh, if they could? So um, kind of an open-ended question. We're gonna have four options today. I've got um, the decks for each of the groups already picked out and also I felt like I needed to pull out a Lenormand card for each choice. Um, so let me just show you what the Lenormand cards are really quickly. Um, for group one, we have the garden, and that is number 20. For group two, we have the stork, number 17. For group number three, we have the dog, number 18. And group four is the book card, number 26. All right, guys, so take a moment, think about the person that you would like to know about, and uh, we'll find out what they would uh, say to you if they could. Is, guys okay all right group number one what would your person say to you if they could we got the uh, wildwood tarot that we're using for this one what would group one's person say to them if they could Um, we have the Two of Vessels and the Ace of Vessels coming out. Um, so, these two cards are the, um, no, sorry, it's the Ten of Vessels and the Ace of Vessels. Um, so these two cards are the Ten of Cups and Ace of Cups um, in the regular tarot deck. Um, the Ten of Cups, Ten of Vessels, this card is about, like, happy family life, satisfying relationships, kind of like having all of your wishes, your dreams come true, that kind of feeling. It's just, like, there's there's a really strong association for me with, you know, family, um, domestic life, that kind of thing. And uh, the Ace of Vessels, this card is about, like, new beginnings, especially talking about love and relationships. So, um, this is telling me that your person has, I mean, straight away, like, they have really good feelings towards you. Um, and it kind of seems to me like they see you as kind of a, um, I don't know. I'm 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 kind of seeing this as like they see you as a goal that they want to work towards. Does that make sense, guys? Um I feel like this probably is a fairly family-oriented person just in general. Um and it seems to me like they would want you to know that they see you as like the ideal person to, I don't know, settle down with or something like that. And, you know, if you're not, um, if this person's not really a big part of your life right now, the Ace of Vessels is telling me that they would like to be. Like, they want to kind of, uh, start over, so to speak. Okay, so let's see what other cards want to come out. Whoa, okay. Um, there's the Shaman. We have the Queen of Vessels and the King of Stones. Okay, so um, the Shaman card, this card is about creation, manifestation, creating something new. It's number one, that's the number on this card. So again, there's kind of this energy of like new beginnings, right? Something something brand new that is 
starting. So I feel like definitely they want you to know that like they want to start over. I feel like they want to have a, another chance. I'm getting that they kind of feel like they I'm, I'm feeling like if there was um, any kind of conflict between you and this person, they're not really thinking about that anymore. Um, it seems to me like that's pretty much a thing of the past for them. Just because the energy of these cards is so like overwhelmingly positive, even the garden card is like... <sighs> It's, it's, you know, this energy is, like, happy. It's, it's really, um, loving, okay? There's, like, there's a lot of, like, love energy going on here. Especially with the Vessels cards. We have the Queen of Vessels. This card is telling me that, um, there's some kind of really profound connection between you and this person. And I think that they feel that. And they are... <sighs> They're kind of like, um, they're a little bit confused by it. They don't fully understand it, but they feel it. And I think they would, they're curious about whether you feel it too. So <laughs> for some of you guys, your person is kind of like, you know, I want to know if they feel the same way, but I'm you know, I'm nervous about reaching out to them or something like that. I'm nervous about bringing it up. Um, and the King of Stones, this is, um, uh, this card is about, like, stability, um, commitment, persistence. So I think there, the message there is that, um, your person is saying, basically, even even if things are not going well right now, even if we don't have anything to do with each other right now, like, I am still thinking about you, and you are still important to me. Okay? Oh, that's really sweet. Um, and I would like to start over with you. Um, let's see if there's any other cards that want to come out for you guys. Oops. Um, yeah. So, we have the Knight of Arrows and the Ace of Arrows. So, these correspond to the Swords cards in the traditional tarot, which are about communication, insight, clarity. So, like, there's a, a serious desire to, like, talk to you, to communicate with you, but there's just, there's something holding them back. Um, we also have the Nine of Stones here, so it's kind of like, I'm getting that they're kind of feeling a little bit hermit-like at the moment. They're, they're kind of withdrawn. I feel like they're a little bit, maybe they've been kind of withdrawn from a lot of people in, in, in the recent past. Um, like within the past few months or so. And I feel like they're starting to sort of move out of that energy and into a more active energy, but they're still like not quite at a place where they're really ready to initiate that communication, but they want to. And I feel like they're going to. Um, so they're saying, like, just, you know, just know that you're going to hear from me, and even though I'm feeling, like, really vulnerable and kind of nervous about, you know, communicating with you just because of how things went down before or whatever, it's like, you know, I'm not... I'm not worried about that anymore. I don't feel bad about that stuff anymore. I'm not upset about that stuff anymore. I just want to, like, I just, it's like, they just, they want you to know that they, they miss you, and I'm getting, like, 
what they would tell you is that they just want to be able to talk to you again. And it's like, it's like they feel like they can't, but like the only thing that's, for most of you, I think the only thing that's preventing them from talking to you is themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like they are the only, they are the only, uh, barrier <laughs> to this communication. Um, and again, that's just because they, they don't quite feel like they're ready or they don't know how to initiate that contact, you know what I'm saying? Um, because I feel like this is a person who maybe isn't used to talking about, like, their feelings or opening up emotionally to other people. Um, I feel like they're not very... I feel like this person's not great at expressing themselves. So, like, I'm not getting a lot of specific, like specific messages with this spread, but I'm getting a lot of feelings, okay? Um, so they have a lot of feelings towards you. And the things that they want you to know is that they miss you, they they want to be part of your life, like they want to start over. They want to be more honest with you in the future. Um, Ace of Arrows is like, it's kind of like, um, Maybe in the past they weren't 100% truthful about something and they regret that to some extent and so they they want to they want to change that like like they want to have this new beginning and when that happens they want to do it right they want to come correct okay and just you know do this with no no secrets okay nothing nothing um hidden from from anybody um so yeah guys uh that's what i've got for you again this isn't a super um i feel like this isn't a super talkative person i feel like your person might actually be a little bit socially awkward <laughs> um not like extremely but you know, like I said, I, I, I just get the impression that they, they're not good at expressing their feelings. They're not good at expressing, you know, themselves just in general. Um, and so when it comes to stuff like that, they tend to pull back. Um, they don't want to keep pulling back. Like they want to put themselves out there. They, they want to open up to you. They're just, they're just nervous about it. And for some of you, they're not quite ready yet. For others of you, it's just a matter of figuring out, you know, how to approach you. Um, and just, like, working up the courage to do that, okay? Because I feel as though being vulnerable to other people is a really scary thing for this person. So, um... Yeah, group one, that's really all that I've got for you guys. That's what your person would say to you if they could. That's what they want you to know. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope this reading resonated with you. Remember, these are general readings. They are not always going to resonate with everyone who sees them. Just take what applies to your situation and leave the rest behind. Um, as always, if you guys have uh, suggestions or requests for future pick a card readings, please let me know. Um, I'm always interested to hear you guys's, you guys, your, your ideas. Um, yeah, anyway, thank you again for watching. I hope I see you next time. Bye! Okay, group number two, what would your person say to you if they could? Let's see. Group two, what would group two's person say to them? if they could. Whoa. Alright. Okay, let's see, what are these cards? These three cards fell out into the floor, and... Okay, yeah, they want me to take them, so I will. Alright, we have the Eight of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the King of Cups. 
seems to me right away like this is kind of a tough situation. I feel like there's a lot of, uh, I want to say just difficult feelings involved here. Um, the Eight of Swords is about isolation. It's about like w being withdrawn from other people. It's kind of a self-imposed imprisonment, you know what I'm saying? Um, and the Four of Cups, this card is about boredom. It can talk about apathy, disappointment, um, uncertainty, that kind of thing. The King of Cups, however, is a very, like, loving kind of energy. Um, so I feel like I'm getting from the King of Cups that, like, your person... Your person does care about you a lot um, because the King of Cups is, you know, it's the last card in the suit, so it's the most developed of the Cups energy. Um, so I feel like they do care about you a lot. They would want to tell you that. I feel like maybe they haven't ever said that out loud to you. Um, however, they are feeling stuck. Something about this connection has them feeling stuck, or they feel like this connection itself is stuck. Um, and I'm getting that from the Eight of Swords, and because they feel stuck, they it's like they don't see a way forward here. Um, and they know that something needs to happen, they know that they need to move forward in some way, whether that's with or without you, it might depend on, you know, your individual situations, but regardless, it's like they don't, they feel stuck and, and they don't see a way forward and it's, Bob, yeah, the Three of Swords, whatever's going on in this situation, um, it has them feeling really down. This card is about heartbreak, sadness, um, you can talk about grief. It's just like, they don't feel good about what's going on. Whatever's happening here, they don't feel good about it. And you might be thinking that they don't care or they're not affected, um, because they might not be, um showing you how they're feeling or what they're thinking. Um, so you might be frustrated with this person thinking like, well, you know, they don't, they act like they don't care, but they do. Um, and like, that's, they would, they would tell you that, um, but for some reason they're not. Um, and it could just be simple, like stubbornness. The Four of Cups is giving me a little bit of a stubborn energy right here. Um, a little bit of a, you know, I I don't want to talk about this kind of vibe. Um, because it's like, whatever this is, it's like it's too difficult for them to talk about. They, maybe this is somebody that doesn't like to discuss their feelings. Maybe this is somebody who doesn't like confrontation. I don't know. Um, but it's like, for some reason, they don't want to talk about this. But they are feeling affected by it and like they wish you knew that but they don't they don't know how or they don't want to um like convey that to you okay and there's the five of cups so this card is also about grief um loss there is a lot of there's a, I don't know what happened between you guys, but it seems like a lot. Um, because this person, I'm just really getting that. This is someone who has been kind of hiding the way that they feel or hiding how they have been affected. Um, and I, like I said, I think that's really frustrating to you, but the reality is that they feel really bad about whatever has gone on between you and like if they had the ability to convey that to you or the strength to convey that to you that's what they would tell you okay 
but they it, it seems to me like they just don't have that for whatever reason maybe it's just because maybe it's because you're not even in contact with each other right now maybe you've you've separated um but the king of cups is like you know they they do they do care about you they, they i feel like this person kind of loves you um we have the three of cups and the nine of pentacles so these two cards are kind of like about what they would want to say to you not necessarily about this situation i feel like this is just kind of how they think about you in general um the three of cups is about celebration it's about you know unity and wholeness and just having a good time with friends and that kind of thing so this is telling me that like they they would want you to know that you make them feel good like you make them feel happy you make them feel whole in a way like a, you know they feel as though you complete them and I feel like this is something that is just too sappy or too cheesy for them to ever admit out loud but like they would say it if they if they weren't afraid of you know um being like that um and then the nine of pentacles this card is about like independence and contentment and self-love and that kind of thing so i feel like this is kind of how they see you like they see you as this nine of pentacles this person you know she's she's like got it all um and and this isn't gender specific i'm just saying she because it's a woman in the in the picture but um she's got it all you know she's got all these pentacles she's got this little bird sitting on her hand she is dressed nicely you know she has everything that she needs she's got it all under control she's very confident she's very self-assured and again i think this is like <laughs> there this is not something that they would tell you in real life like out loud but again similar to the three of cups it's like this is what they actually think and if they weren't afraid of saying it like they would say it um, for some reason, I feel as though your person doesn't want you to know, or they, hmm, how do I, hold on, they don't want you to know how much they actually care about you for some reason, or, or how affected they are by you, or something like that I, I just feel like this person like puts on a front they they have like this facade of you know like I don't care about anything kind of fit vibe and but in reality like that's not who they are that's just kind of how they project or how they present themselves possibly as like a I want to say like a way to protect themselves almost so that people so that people don't get too close to them? I don't know. Your person feels pretty defensive. And um, you, I think, it's like you make them want to lower their walls. And that kind of scares the, scares the shit out of them. Um, so maybe that's why there's been this conflict or this separation or whatever has happened. Um, and I'm... I'm not getting any more cards, so I think that is pretty much it for you guys. Um, that's what they would tell you if they could. Like, basically, you know, they're probably not showing you very much right now. They're probably giving you next to nothing, if anything. Um, but what, what they would tell you is that, you know, if they actually do care about you and they actually do have regret and they are upset about what has gone on um and they and they also just like really admire you i think and they would they would say it if they weren't so afraid to okay um so group number two that is your reading i hope that resonated with you I know that was a little bit shorter than the first one but uh, i hope you enjoyed and um 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you have any suggestions for future pick a card readings, please let me know. I'm always interested to hear your opinions. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you again for watching. I hope I see you guys next time. It is time for group number three, which was the dog card. And we have the kawaii tarot for this group. Um, I get comments like all the time on every video where I use this deck, I get people asking what this is. This is the kawaii tarot, okay? And the cards are smaller than your standard tarot deck and it's it feels very satisfying to shuffle these cards. I just gotta say. All right, so group number three, what would your person tell you if they could? We have the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords right away tells me that this person does have, um, I feel like this person has a lot of things on their mind that they would, they want to get across to you. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, or the Ace of Swords, is about insight, it's about clarity and honesty, and it's possible that this person hasn't been completely truthful with you in the past, and they kind of want to remedy that. Um, with the Four of Pentacles, th this card is about uh, control, it can be about... Uh, it, can, it can have kind of an obsessive sort of energy. Um, and this card also talks about holding on to something. So there's something here. I, I feel as though this person is holding on to this connection or trying to hold on to this relationship, something like that. Um, the Three of Swords fell out and the Nine of Wands also fell out. So I'm what I'm actually getting here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I feel like you guys, a lot of you, for a lot of you guys, I feel as though you, the viewer, might have walked away from this person, and that kind of broke their heart. And you might be thinking, like, why would that? have affected them like that because they, you know, maybe you walked away from them because they were acting like they didn't care or they were being just like being weird somehow. Um, but the thing is, they actually feel really upset about whatever has gone on between you. And I think this person misses you a lot. That's, they want, they would want you to know that. Um, and the four of pentacles here this this clinging kind of energy like this is them holding on to this connection like as much as they can also the dog card I want to point out this can talk about like loyalty okay so <laughs> I feel as though your person is trying to remain loyal to you even if you're not together even if you're not on speaking terms right now um because they're just not they just don't want to let it go. Um, and the Nine of Wands, this card is about overcoming obstacles, you know, perseverance. I feel like they would want to tell you that, you know, they're willing to do the work. Like, they're willing to jump over, jump through whatever hoops you put in front of them if it meant that they could have another chance. Yeah, because you're like the Empress and gender is irrelevant. Um... But the Empress energy, like, they see you as having that Empress kind of energy, that confidence, that attractiveness, that intelligence, and just, um, oh my god, I can't think of the word that I want to say. Just someone who's very capable, okay? And uh, maybe they never really expressed that to you, maybe they've never really expressed, like, how they actually feel about you. But, like, this is what they actually think, and this is what they would want to say. I, okay, I'm getting, like, they are sorry for maybe not being truthful with you, or sorry for acting distant. Um, whatever, whatever went on, like, 
if they if there was anything that they did they want to apologize for that and they want you to know that like they are still holding on to this they're still thinking about this they haven't let it go and they're willing to do whatever they need to do to have another chance with you because they realize that you are kind of awesome and like sort of a I'm getting that they kind of see you as like a once in a lifetime opportunity maybe that's not a good word but like you know what I'm saying like somebody like you only comes around once in a lifetime you know what I'm saying you heard that phrase before or something similar I probably butchered it anyway um we also have the eight of wands that fell out so this card is about action this card also talks about communication change um so again like with similar to the ace of swords it's like this person has a lot on their mind that they would like to say to you and I kind of feel like you know again this is talking about action like they they want you to know that they're willing to do whatever they have to do they're they're willing to jump through whatever hoops whatever you know it would take to make you accept them accept their apology and and give them another chance we have the lovers card they would tell you that they love you um yeah oh gosh and you might be thinking that is crazy there's no way that this person loves me they i can't say whether they truly are in love with you or whatever but they feel like they are let me put it that way and that's something that they would want you to know or they do want you to know okay um also i'm getting that like this person kind of feels as though i'm not gonna lie you guys don't take this the wrong way um but your person's energy honestly feels a little bit like manic uh almost um just kind of all over the place just kind of i'm getting like uh somebody who's just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking like non-stop um and it's like don't you have to breathe at some point uh you know <laughs> so mm, yeah um hmm what is this card we have the page of cups yeah <laughs> they want to like make you an offer like they want to offer you know can we can we just like go out can we just have a conversation can we just meet up somewhere and and talk um you know because i i think i love you and i'm sorry for what i did and i want to i want to give this another go if if you're if you're on board with that uh, because um you're amazing and incredible and i love you and etc um let me get one more card here oh gosh i'm tired just doing this reading guys <laughs> Yeah, there's the Six of Wands. They feel like the two of you could be very successful in a relationship. And they want you to know that they admire you a lot. They think that you are a very, uh, they see you as a very successful person. And um, again, like, they feel as though, I'm almost getting like they want to be able to plead their case with you like they want to convince you to give them another chance almost I hope this is resonating with you guys but because this is this is kind of a specific energy here um but yeah I, it's almost like they they want to convince you they want to plead their case to you about you should give me another chance and here is why here is my here's my argument <laughs> I feel like this person can be very persuasive and that might be something that I mean that can be a good or a bad thing uh, it depends on their intentions honestly you know if this is somebody who has been like abusive or toxic towards you in the past like by no means should you give this person another chance um 
but if that's not the case, like, you know, if, if you've never had issues like that with this individual, then I, I, I don't know. I mean, the, the energy here is a little bit all over the place, but it doesn't feel negative necessarily. It doesn't feel con controlling or heavy, really. It's just, it's just a little bit tiring. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, guys. Um, so, group number three, that is your reading. Um, I hope this resonated with you, and I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, also, I, I just remembered what I wanted to say with this card. Um, your person probably thinks that you guys are soulmates. And... I'm not sure if that's the case or not, because this is just a general reading, but that's what they think, that's what they would tell you. Like, I feel like that would be a major component of their argument as far as, you know, why you should, why you should, you know, take them back or accept their apology or whatever. Um, because we're soulmates and, like, we're meant to be together and I'm sorry and blah, 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 blah. Um, okay. Okay. I gotta end this reading, guys. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's all the messages that I've got for you. Um, I hope this resonates. Uh, if you have suggestions or requests for future pick a card readings, please leave them in the comments. Um, I am always interested to see what you guys, uh, are looking for in general readings. Thank you so much for watching group three. I hope you have a lovely day, and I hope I see you next time. Bye! Alright, group number four. Those of you who chose the book card, or the, uh, we have the Tarot of Sexual Magic for this pile, for this group. Okay, so let's see, what would group four's person say to them if they could? We have the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups, um, this card talks about nostalgia. This card talks about uh, memories, things from the past. Um, we have the Four of Wands. Okay, so it's looking to me like your person in general has really good feelings towards you. Like, there's a lot of positive emotions. Uh, we do have the Three of Swords, though, so it seems to me like there has been some issues. Um, or there's just some sort of negative, um, negative energy that's present here for whatever reason, like, in your connection. Um, Three of Swords is about heartbreak, betrayal, it can indicate a third-party situation. Um, the Four of Wands, though, is about celebration and good times, and it can talk about marriage and that kind of thing. So... And there's the Knight of Wands. Let me get one or two more cards here. Seven of Pentacles. And that's a lot of cards, and I don't think I'm going to take them. <laughs> Let me get one more. There's, there's this really strong sense of, like, longing that I'm feeling here. It's like, I'm getting that this person you probably aren't in contact with, or you have little contact with them. And I just feel like they miss you, or it could just be that they miss some of the, like, they miss, um, the times that you've shared together in the past. Sort of, like, longing for, for better, better days. Um, we have the Nine of Swords and Judgment. I really feel like this is a situation that has come to an end. Um, hmm. Okay, 
This is interesting, guys. I feel like this is a, a connection that is either kind of mm, non-existent, at least in the 3D right now, or it's very um, strained, or like I said, you have you just have little contact with this person. Um, and what they would tell you, I think, is that they, your person looks back very fondly on the times that you have shared together, um, the memories that you have with each other. I'm, I'm feeling like in the past you and this person had a really good relationship and you did make a lot of really positive memories. And with the Six of Cups and the Four of Wands, I feel like your person thinks about those memories a lot and they, um, they, they hold on to those memories because they're special to them. And with the Knight of Wands, I feel as though you and your person maybe have shared, a, you know, a lot of adventures together. Um, because this card is a very active energy, and it's a fun, like, exciting kind of energy. Um, so I feel like you've probably had a lot of adventures together, and... But, but there was something that happened that made the two of you kind of part ways with the Three of Swords. And then with the Nine of Swords, this card is about anxiety and stress. So I feel like they have... I feel like they have a lot of worry about this connection because of whatever this Three of Swords moment was. Um, and maybe they never really... I'm getting that there, there wasn't really closure to this situation, um, and they are regretful of that, and may, like maybe you found out that this person was doing something they shouldn't have been doing, or there was just, there was just something that put you to, you know, on separate paths and I feel like the break was really just very abrupt and like complete almost um, meaning you know you guys were good one day and then the next day it was like total separation or almost total separation or something like that um, and so I'm just getting that they feel a real like lack of closure to this situation and that bothers them because of that they can't stop thinking about this they can't stop thinking about you um, they feel like they uh, they would they want you to know that they feel like they messed up a really good thing and they're sorry for that the judgment card is like they they want you to know that like they would Yeah, they would, they would apologize to you if they could, and you might be thinking, like, well, what's stopping them? I think the thing that's stopping them is just, it, just that they don't, mm, they don't really want to create a conflict. They don't really want there to be confrontation. I feel like they, mm, yeah, they're afraid that maybe you wouldn't be accepting of their apology they're afraid that you might not even like respond to them if you reach if they reached out to you and also i think they just they just don't want to upset you by bringing it up okay or by popping back up in your life or whatever um so the seven of pentacles is kind of like it's, it's kind of a resting energy. It's like waiting. It's like planning ahead, planning for the future. Um, oops. And here we have the King of Pentacles. So yeah, the King of Pentacles, this card in this particular deck talks about like fear, okay? Um, so 
they are a little bit fearful when it comes to, you know, the idea of approaching you. Um, maybe you do still have contact with this person, but if you do, I feel like it's kept pretty formal. Um, or at least, you know, you guys don't talk about the past, you know. Um, I'm actually seeing, like, the Seven of Pentacles as, like, the two of you before all of this craziness happened. And this is, like, the kind of thing that they are really missing the most. Just, like, being able to feel comfortable with you and vulnerable and safe. Okay. You made them feel safe when you were together. But now it's kind of like, oh, interesting. They feel like, oh, they feel like they don't know who you are anymore. They feel like you've changed a lot. And so now they have like no idea what is going on they don't know like hmm okay yeah it's it's interesting because the book card um, this card can talk about something um, that is secret something that is hidden they feel as though yeah they feel like you've changed and it kind of bothers them okay okay they yeah um, I'm hearing like, you know, why did you hide this part of yourself from me? Uh, or I miss the way that you used to be. You're not the same person anymore. You're not someone that... You're not someone that I can... Oh. I'm hearing like you're someone I, I that I can't relate to anymore. Um, so that's like for some of you specifically and if that is for you then I think you'll probably know um, but I just feel like you know maybe okay I think that it seems to me like maybe you have grown as a person and they have not um, you moved forward you moved on and they did not um, and they, but they don't see it that way. They see it as, you've changed, that's not cool, I don't like it, I miss the way things used to be, and I just want everything to stay, to, to go back to the way they were and stay the same forever. Um, and that's not, that's not really feasible. Um, and it's not, it's not great in the long term, because everything has to change like nothing can nothing can stay the same forever um but i feel like this is a person who's pretty averse to change and so they feel a little bit betrayed actually for some reason because of the ways maybe the ways that you have changed or the things that you're doing now with your life whatever um take it how how it resonates with you but basically what I'm getting is that your person would tell you that they miss you, they're sorry, they want, you know, they miss, they miss the way that things were and they want, they wish they could go back to those, to those days, but they know they can't. And there's actually like a kind of a, this energy of this spread is sad to me um and like i said at the start there's just this really strong feeling of longing and it's actually making me feel kind of nostalgic like i'm sitting here thinking about my childhood and whatnot <laughs> um so yeah, you guys, I know that's not, um, 
a lot of details uh, or a lot of information, but it, you know, it really seems to me like what this person would have to say to you is is, is pretty straightforward. It's just that, you know? Um, so yeah, group four, I hope that this resonates with you and I hope you enjoy. Um, as always, take what applies to your situation and leave the rest behind. These are just general readings, so they're not going to uh, apply 100% to everyone who feels led to watch them. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you have suggestions or requests for future pick a card readings, please let me know. I'm always interested in what you guys are wanting to see. And uh, yeah, I hope I see you next time. Bye!